Queen is in Scotland to officially open the new Queen's Ferry crossing, exactly 53 years after she opened the fourth road bridge. Uh, let's cross back now to our correspondent, Katrina Renton, who is on the south side of the crossing and is watching events for us. Yes, and it's just incredible. You can see the red arrows are just going overhead now. The Queen just cut the ribbon, of course, to open the new Queen's Ferry crossing. And here we go. That's the royal party now moving off, driving across, driving northwards, northbound, across the new Queen's Ferry crossing. There's a flotilla under the bridge who are just about to let their claxons go off as well. It's spectacularly exciting for the people who are here today. So many children who have grown up watching this bridge being built over the past six years. Their chance here today, some of them to meet the Queen and to see this, this event, this something that they have been waiting for, something that means a lot to the people who live around here. This, of course, the main artery road that links Edinburgh and Fife, so quite a spectacle. You could hear, of course, in the background there, the band of the Royal Regiment of Scotland and the First Minister now. She has just got into her car and she and her husband, they now following behind the Royal Party where they will join the Queen over on the other side where the Queen will unveil a plaque and is expected to say a few words. Now, we heard the moderator of the General Assembly of the Church of Scotland bless the bridge there, blessing all those who built the bridge and those who have worked on it over the last six years. 15,000 people involved in the construction of this £1.35 billion bridge, which it's, it's quite a sight to look at. It's an incredible structure. It's been designed to be pretty much weatherproof, so people hoping it will be able to stay open all year round. That was a problem that beset the old Forth Bridge, which the Queen opened that, you know, exactly 53 years ago today, this day, the 4th of September, extremely significant to this part of the world. And of course, we should also mention that news, of course, starting to ripple through the crowds here about the other good news. You can hear the, the klaxons there. The other good news for the royal family today that the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge now, we're looking at some pictures of the Queen cutting the ribbon. That happened a few moments ago. And, of course, that was before she headed over the bridge. But, of course, this is a significant day, a significant time for the royal family, a significant time for the people of this part of Scotland who have waited in anticipation for this day to happen. So. You can hear, of course, the pipe bands behind us now as well as we carry on the celebrations that are happening here on the Queen's Ferry crossing. Of course, 1964 it was when the Queen came here to open the old Forth Road Bridge, the one that this new Queen's Ferry crossing is replacing. And you'll see, of course, in the distance, the grandfather, the, the older sister of them all, the fourth bridge, the railway crossing that was built in the 19th century. So now you can see here three centuries worth of engineering. This is a big day for the people who have worked on and who have grown up around and who live around this bridge that they hope will still be being used in up to 150 years time.